Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Myrna. So today I have a what's old video for you. I want to show you some of the items that sold late December or beginning of January. And um, later on, I will also record a thrift haul video for you guys. So I'm trying to stay busy. Today is Friday, January 12th. And we're in the middle of a snowstorm. We're expecting anywhere from 6 to 12 inches of snow. 50 mile per hour winds. I'll show you a little clip of what it looked like this morning out my backyard and my front yard so that you guys can see what it's like to live in the Midwest. Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. So today is January the 12th and we have a really bad snowstorm going on right now. The winds are picking up to about 50 miles per hour. We are expecting anywhere from about 8 to 12 inches of snow, maybe more. So one of the reasons why I love reselling is because I don't really have to go anywhere today. I can work from home and not worry about this weather. So... So anyhow, um, I will be sharing my screen. I bought a MacBook Air 2 in November, a gift to myself from my business. And um, I wanna be able to share my screen with you guys. I think it's helpful to see an item fully, show you every, you know, the tag, what the tag looks like. Um, I think that information is helpful. I love watching what's old videos when somebody shares their screen. Um, but anyhow, um, if you are new here, welcome. Thank you so much for uh, clicking on my video today. And if you like my video today, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And I would love it if you follow my reselling journey. Um, so without further ado, let me show you some sales. Um, and uh, some of these are bolos, okay? So let's get started. All right, guys, um, let me get started with my first eBay sale that I want to share with you. This is a Bolo brand. Um, it does have a following, and it is a Kizik Vegas leather hands-free casual sneakers and cognac. These were a men's size 8 or a women's 9.5. Uh, very popular style of shoe, and I took an offer or accepted an offer of $50 for these um they took about three to four weeks to sell and i did pay seven dollars and 99 cents for these so a very nice sale there all right the next item that i sold on ebay is an olakai kakaha leather slip-on shoes these are men's ten and a half fox leather and um, very nice desirable brand as well um, they don't sell as well as they used to for resale um, they did sell i think better um, last year i think the retail uh, resale value has gone down but still a very desirable brand and um, i paid 6.99 for these and these did take two to three months to sell all right, so the next item is a women's Asics Gel Quantum 360 size eight. These were in the island blue color. And when I picked these up a couple months ago, um, the I had seen a sold comp in the $130 range. Um, and so I priced my sneakers around that same dollar amount. And I noticed that they weren't getting any attention. I relisted them and I decided to, after not getting any you know, activity on it, I decided to, hey, let me check um, 
the comps again. Maybe I made a mistake. And so when I did go back and check my comps, I noticed that they weren't selling for that much. Um, they were probably in the 50 to maybe $80 range. So I lowered my price. And as soon as I did, um, somebody on Poshmark sent me an offer for 60 and on eBay, somebody messaged me right away and said, Hey, um, will you do 65? And so the lady on Poshmark, um, I had already accepted the $60 offer on Poshmark, but there was a payment issue. So I messaged the buyer and said, Hey, please fix your payment issue. Um, you know, so that I can, you know, get these shipped out to you. And after a while, she came back and said, um, oh, yes, I will fix it within 24 hours. During that time, I already had another offer on eBay for 65. And as you know, the fees are cheaper on eBay. So I decided to go with the eBay offer and I canceled the sale on Poshmark because if this lady really wanted these sneakers, she would have fixed her payment issue right then and there. So these sold for $65 plus shipping. And these, I believe, are women's trail running shoes. Um, very uh, nice condition. I mean, hardly anywhere on the soles. And A6 gel sneakers usually do well for me. Um, so I would always check comps on these, uh, but a good sneaker to pick up if you find it. All right. This is a new tags, sans solio, quarter zip, pullover, long sleeve, mock, and these are used for golfing. They have UPF 50, so sun protection. And I picked this one up back in the fall. I um, had my best thrift haul of 2023 uh, was on this day when I picked up a whole bunch of UPF tops, uh, most of them two extra large and these tops retailed $98 or so. My cost of goods for all these tops were $5. I made my, uh, what I paid, what I invested, my full investment got met really quickly and I'm way in the profits on uh, this thrift haul. I'm telling you it's the best thrift haul ever. And um, so yeah, this is one of the tops and this was a nice cross grain blue and i did accept a 30 dollar offer and uh 30 dollars plus shipping all profit all right the next item that sold on ebay is a merrill limited edition honey stinger yellow trail running shoes for men size 10 and a half and these were in good condition the sneakers um, are collaboration with honey stinger and honey stinger is an energy gel for runners um, they have all kinds of energy, um, you know, crackers and gels and that sort of thing for nutrition for runners, um, the glucose uh, fuel for running. So very nice uh, pair of sneakers. I paid $6.99 and these did take a couple weeks to sell. All right, next item that I sold on eBay is a cool women's pants. These were six short black Reco convertible ripstop and I believe Reco is um, some sort of technology where if you get lost you can get found wherever you're hiking or whatever correct me if I'm wrong in the comments but um yeah cool is a decent brand um, I also think the resale value has gone down a little bit but I always sell every single piece that I pick and I paid $4.99 for these, and I did sell them for $34.95. Not bad, and I don't know if you guys remember this little guy. This is a jelly cat. Her name is Bashful Iris, or yeah, Bashful Iris. She's purple, uh, retired little jelly cat, and um, I got multiple offers on this little plush toy, um, one of them was 40. I want to say somebody else had offered me 50. Uh, but this one, um, I had relisted her and somebody bought her when I was running a 15% off sale. So very happy with the sale. I paid 
one dollar my husband threw her in my shopping cart at the thrift store um, while we were thrifting one day and yeah very desirable little jelly cat um, great profit there and um, this is not the first time that I have sold a jelly cat I have sold one before and um, it was so cute it had uh, it was a like a male bunny rabbit with a little bow tie and that one went overseas and I believe I sold that one for $80 something to that effect but um, yeah if you ever see jelly cats I would quickly search to see if they're retired because if they are they do sell for good money all right the next item that I sold on eBay is a coach legacy penny leather crossbody handbag brown cognac uh, brass uh, style 19914 paid $9.99 and it sold within days of listing for $80.71 plus shipping and a very nice clean crossbody bag and I believe I showed it to you guys in a thrift haul so very very happy with that sale a quick flip all right, the next item that I sold on eBay is a Bowden Celia Ottoman Sheath Dress, US size 2, sleeveless, color block, rib, stretch. And we paid $9.99 for this dress. And this one took a couple weeks to sell, but very beautiful dress, perfect for work, office, cocktail, dinner, wonderful, wonderful style. All right, guys, the next item that I sold on eBay is a Women's Brooks Ravina 8 lace-up size 8.5 blue purple color. I did pay $14.99 for, the, for these sneakers, but they were like new, uh, new without the box and very, very beautiful colors. Um, excellent running shoe. And um, this one sold for $56.95 or so on an offer from a a watcher on eBay and uh, we did like I said pay up for these but it was a decent profit okay the next item that sold are Ann Taylor women's Patricia bow flat suede true navy pointed toe size 8 medium paid five dollars for these and these sold within a day or two of listing and flats pointed flats to be exact um, are quite popular and so nice leather sole there not surprised they sold so quickly they did sell for $35.95 all right the next item that i sold on ebay is a torrid women's longline celestial stars moon nylon raincoat size 5x and it sold really quickly for me um, i would say within days of listing very nice raincoat love the print had pockets cinched waist hooded um, just really nice style and um, it did sell for fifty dollars and 96 cents i did pay 7.99 for it the next item that i sold on ebay is a patagonia kid snow shot jacket insulated ski jacket size large uh, and a camel print and i paid 9.99 and this jacket sold for $80.71. I had a 15% off and somebody bought it um, and it sold within a day or two of listing. Very nice, clean on the inside. It did have somebody's name on it, but other than that, pristine. So very happy with that sale. All right, the next item that I sold on eBay was a Doc Martens Pascal Virginia pebbled leather boots in a size seven. Uh, these are women's and we paid $5.22 for these and they sold for $84.96 within days of listing and I was very, very happy with this sale. My husband did um, polish them with the Wonder Balsam and they look really good. So a very quick sale there. The next item that I sold um, was a Nike N94 USA Soccer Tech Track Jacket, US MNT Soccer, gray, size large, 
and I did pay $6.99 for it. And this jacket sold for $71.95. It did take about two to three months to sell, but very nice jacket, great condition. And uh, yeah, nice sale there. All right, the next item that I sold on eBay was a new poncho short sleeve button up magnetic pocket shirt size extra large navy blue. This was new with tags. My husband found it on a thrift, uh, thrift trip with me. He saw that it was new with tags and threw it in the cart and said for me to check comps. And to my surprise, uh, this brand um, has a great sell through rate and the shirts can sell upwards of 40 to $60. Um, I did pay $7.50 for it, um, but it sold for $56 and some cents on an offer from a watcher. Um, very, very quick sale. And like I said, it is a bolo. So keep your eyes out for this brand. All right. The next item that I sold on eBay is, um, also a bolo brand. This is Fajaw Raven, Robin or Fajaw Raven. Not sure how to pronounce this. It's a new to me brand. A Bisco trekking tights, women's size medium, dark garnet, high waist for hiking. Um, these pants I found at the thrift store. I paid $2.50 for them. And when I checked the comps, um, the reason that I wanted to check the comps was because I saw the rear had this padding on it and it also had a unique logo. Uh, yeah, this little foxy type of logo. Um, but I, I knew from looking at them that they probably were something that I needed to research. And to my surprise, um, they can sell upwards of $100 or more. Um, these were pre-owned, so I didn't know where to price them, so I, I uh, had, had them at $74.95, so they did sell on a 10% off for $67.45, and they did sell very, very quickly, and I apologize for me moving my mouse all over the place. I'm probably driving you guys crazy, but this is new uh, for me. The next sales are all going to be from Poshmark. And I have one, two, three, four, five. I have a couple more to go. Okay, so anyhow, Orle, white, drawstring, hooded, thickened, down coat, parka size, extra large with faux fur trim around the hood. Um, it sold for $89. And um, I believe I paid $14.99 for it. And it took a couple weeks to sell. Another sale on Poshmark was a men's twisted X. 12 inch horseman square toe cowboy boots size 10d and i also paid 14.99 and they sold for 82 dollars and they took a couple weeks to sell and then the next item that i sold is a lily pulitzer on the prowl two-piece short sleeve pajama set size extra large new with tags i actually um paid um I think it was five dollars and i listed it and they sold the same day of listing very cute style of uh, pajamas from lily pulitzer um 45 dollar sale there all right and then these were a bins fine i paid a dollar 22 for these they're the uh, birkenstock arizona burko floor sandals in 39 i got an offer for 30 and of course i accepted um, these did have a little bit of like tiny paint marks on the vamp or the strap, as you can see here. Um, but uh, not a bad return for a dollar. Okay, and then this is also a Bolo brand, I think. Um, this packed cardigan clay brown airplane organic cotton uh, cardigan size large extra large uh, sold for $49 um, I paid $5.99 for it and it sold rather quickly uh, so keep your eyes out for that and then this is also a bolo um, any spirit jerseys from Disney Disney World or Disneyland um, they have they have been selling for me very very well I found one that said Disney running or run Disney in the back and that one sold for like 55 or 
something to that effect, 50 or $55. And then this one um, sold for $55. And um, we had paid $5.99 for it, sold really quickly. So if you ever see Disney uh, spirit jerseys, they ha usually have a big logo in the back, their dolman sleeve um, style. Uh, they do very well. And so, yeah, keep your eyes out for Disney spirit jerseys. All right, Aquitalia by Marvin K. Sweetie Black Quilted Leather Moto Boots, size 11. Um, I paid $6.99 for these boots, and they did take months to sell, uh, but uh, I uh, didn't want to accept low offers. Um, there were a few that I, you know, either countered um, because I knew the value of these boots, high quality boots, moto boots, and so was happy with the sale of $88. Not a bad return. All right, and the last item that I want to show you is a Jenny Yo Logan Deep V Velvet Column Gown in Dark Emerald Size 6. Um, this is a brand that was sold at Beholden or Anthropology. Um, it sold for $110 and I paid $4 for it. It was marked at $7.99 at my Goodwill. And I went on a day when it was the color tag was half off. Um, this dress did take several months to sell. Um, it could have been because it was hemmed, um, professionally hemmed. And so, uh, you know, obviously it needed to be the right length for the buyer. I believe it measured, let's see, did I put the measure of the hem. Yeah, I was 56, so I was professionally hemmed to 56 inches from the shoulder. So that could have been the reason why it took longer to sell, um, but a great sale nonetheless. Um, so yeah, these were my sales. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed my What's Sold video. Um, let me know if you like this um, sort of video with me sharing my screen. I apologize if I wasn't perfect at it or I made some mistakes. Um, it's a learning curve for me. <laughs> um, and like I said before, if you are new here, I would love for you to follow my reselling journey on YouTube. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up, guys. I hope you have a great rest of your week. Enjoy the weekend and stay warm. Drink lots of coffee and be productive. God bless you guys. Take care. Bye.